so welcome back let's start our new module that is about the programming module so first have a look what we going to cover in this particular module so we start with the basic introduction about the C++ but I am not going to teach you exactly what is C++ okay uh, but if you are interested in detail aspect of C++ then you go through the couple of books okay and uh, with the help of that you able to understand the C++ but uh, what my experience says is something like this way uh, if you ask me detailed question about C++ I may not able to defend okay but if you ask me to develop any code I able to develop the code okay so what I mean to say is that it is not necessary you can uh, grabs all the concept of C++ when you are working with the open form okay but if you have peripheral idea about the C++ all different different simple things if you know in terms of the C++ then it is very easy to manage the code inside the open form okay but it is not uh, it is not required that you go in detail aspect of the C++ and then only you able to do the programming with the open form no if you don't know about the C++ then also if you aware about the certain aspect of the C++ an object oriented aspect of the C++ then it is very easy to manage the code okay so I I normally suggest that you don't straight away jump into learning the C++ but you st better you jump into developing the code with the help of the open form environment okay and whatever is needed to develop your code you try to understand that concept only in terms of the C++ point of view okay so that is my suggestion okay mm. otherwise what happened we uh, spend lots of time in only understanding the C++ but it is a both the way process you parallel first aim is to start developing the something inside the open form and whatever is needed for the development of the open form you try to grab that concept if you not understand any of the code line related to the open form then you try to dig out in terms of the C++ and have an idea what exactly you require from the C++ point of view okay and uh, I normally follow this online very nice book okay uh, c++.com is uh, give us very detailed aspect of basic concept of the C++ okay if you want you can stick to this or you can uh, go with a very uh, sophisticated book about the C++ as well okay so <coughs> let's first explore what we going to cover in this entire 10 sessions okay so idea is uh, f in the f first three session we try to understand how to develop very small small solver inside the open form environment okay so we not go towards very detailed uh, code development or anything we pick up very simple examples from uh, any of the textbook okay so I pick up couple of uh, examples from um, textbook okay and for that particular example we try to develop the code and have an idea what is happening inside the open form environment if we want to develop very simple uh, solver like pure convection wave equation diffusion equation heat transfer 1d 2d heat conduction equations okay inviscid burger equation viscous burger equations laplacian equations how we can handle all these thing inside the open form implicit way explicit way okay all this thing and when we go with the implicit explicit, we try to explore the effect of quorum number and uh, also when we talk about this uh, convection type of the case we try to also explore about the different class of the schemes how it going to affect okay uh, what is the idea behind the selection of proper scheme all this thing we try to explore with the help of with the help of very this simple type of the uh, solver development okay we not go towards very detailed aspect of solver development for first three sessions okay then from the fourth session what we do we try to look at the few more boundary condition implementation and some utility development like uh, if we in the previous uh, module that is the advanced module last session we dis start discussion about the implementing new boundary condition where we explore the uh, fully developed class of boundary condition with the time dependent fully developed 2d and 3d but in this we try to explore some turbulent type of boundary conditions okay so where we have a uh, some power law type of the condition how we can uh, apply that then ram fixed value type of the boundary condition if we have a polynomial velocity fit then how to mm, develop that class of boundary condition then we also try to explore some utilities so here I right now suggest one is the 
Nusser number calculation for heat transfer. Okay, that is not readily available. So we add up some utility and try to modify based on our requirements. So you will also know how to do certain modification at a utility level. So that part we try to cover in tutorial number four and session number four. Then in the session number five, exactly from here onwards, we uh, in this particular session we try to implement certain. Uh, equations in the existing solver okay so we if you look at the ico form pimple form simple form in this if you want to add the heat transfer equation how are we going to add it okay so that is the implementation of scalar transport in the various solver so we try to explore all these things okay and uh, uh, not only to develop the solver but we also try to develop the test cases for each and every solver okay until unless we, we have a test case we cannot uh, justify that our developed solver working fine or not okay so as a test case level also what different changes required we try to explore in the session number of not only session number five but in the all the sessions okay then in the session number six we try to develop new turbulence models so uh, it is not only restricted to any turbulence model whatever the library is available inside the SRC file how to fetch that library out of the SRC and do modification for our own need okay so that is the idea behind this all the sessions so session number six give you the idea about how to create a new turbulence model okay then session number seven we try to look at the new object function implementation FV option implementation some thermophysical model if you want to implement how we going to do that that we try to explore in the session number seven then session number eight we try to uh, look at few more modification at a library level like what we seen at implementation of new turbulence model it is nothing but one type of library only okay and we modified but this is particularly for turbulence model here we try to look at some dynamic fv mesh if you want want to modify non newtonian model we want to add then temperature dependent viscosity model some discretization scheme if we want to develop then how to create some template for that okay so all these things we try to explore in the session number 8 okay then session 9 and 10 we try to implement and modify the various solvers okay so uh, we try to develop few more solvers in mm, these two sessions okay so I suggest uh, if you have your own new solver then during uh, as exercise of this session number 9 and 10 you start creating your own new solvers okay and during the discussion of the session we have a uh, discussion if you face any difficulty in development of your new solver okay so this basically uh, creation of new solvers okay so try to search in your domain if you want to develop very simple solver don't go with a very complicated solver at the beginning okay try to add up very small small type of the solvers and try to code it inside the open form environment so this is what I uh, plan for this entire programming modules okay so first uh, we have a very detailed introduction about the C++ that is the idea okay so first we start with that aspect